Hey, what's going on? My name is Jay. And the other day I had a client that wanted to me to put a form from a different page into another page, but they will stay exactly the same. So this was a quick turnaround and I was like, you know what, I'm going to use an iframe. But when you use an iframe, you know that the sizing is all a mess and the responsive, everything is a mess. So iframe resizer helped me a lot because it automatically resized the iframe for you. So you don't have to worry about the size, the height and the width and all that, which is amazing. So I'm here using iframe resizer version four by David Bradshaw. Thank you so much, David. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see how easy it is um, here you can see some code very simple um, you need some javascript and uh, just one line of javascript as you can see here and you have more options event methods you have a lot here but we're going to keep it simple i'm just going to put an iframe in another website and making sure that this is resizing the iframe so let me close this for now all right, so this is my website right now. Simple, as you can see, there's a header, there's some text, and here I have a form. So this is this is where when it gets a little complicated because you want this form from another page. Um, remember, this is the I'm using the same page, the same URL. I am not getting this from another different website. It is possible that you can embed iframes from different websites in your website but some websites there they will block the access okay but a lot of them they won't all right so the first thing i want to do is download two files i have them here let me put it there so the iframe resizer dot content window dot js this is the one that you're going to put in the form for example this page that is the one that i you know i want to put inside the iframe I have to put this file in that page and iframe resizer.js is going to be in the actual page that I'm going to put the iframe, which is this one right here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to put the iframe at the bottom of the page. So after this diff before my body is, this is the bottom of my page. What I want to do is I'm going to put iframe. And the source is going to be that page. So this is the, um, I think it's form dot HTML. Yep. After this, I need to put the iframe resizer, uh, JavaScript file. So let's go ahead and put script. And this is the, um, iframe resizer. All right. I think we are good. Let me save that. All right, so now you can see um, the iframe here. And now you're gonna start like, you know, putting a width of 100% and then it goes there, but then the hide and then the, when the window resizes, it's all a mess. And it looks horrible. So let's fix that. Let's go to the form HTML, which is this form, okay? And what I want to do is at the end, oh, I already have it there. So it's already there. You can see iframe resizer.contentwindow.min.js. And that's the file that we need in that page for the iframe resizer to work. There's a lot of websites that they have files like this. And you can embed the form and use something like the iframe resizer to actually resize the um, iframe. But a lot of websites, they don't. So there's no way for you to use a resizer to actually resize that frame, that iframe, All right? Just want to throw that out because some people will start using it in random websites and it's not going to work. And it's like, it's because you need specific JavaScript in that page, okay? That, that's the only way that it's going to work. All right, so let's go ahead and now we need our own JavaScript. So let's go ahead and script. Is uh, main JS, I think. Yep. Let's save it. 
nothing's gonna happen because I think my main JS right here is totally empty. So let's go ahead and add some JS. All we have to do is one line iframe, oops, capital F, iframe, capital F, resize, capital R. All right, and now here we're gonna do um, a bracket. This is our options. So there are a bunch of options. I'm just gonna add the log one. This is just console and logging um, a bunch of things that the JavaScript is doing. And then coma and whatever element is that iframe. So let's go back to my index here. And what is my iframe? It's right here. I'm gonna add an ID to this. Instead of a class, it can be a class, just ID because it's gonna be like unique. Um, let's call it, I don't know, my iframe. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be something specific. I'm just gonna copy this. Let's save this file before we go. Save. And I'm gonna paste it right here with the hash because it's an ID. Save it. All right, so right now, as you can see, something happened and it's the height of the whole iframe. Now it's showing us the whole page. There is no weird second scrolling here or nothing. And now there's something happening. The width is not exactly what we want. That's very simple. We just need to add some CSS and it's gonna be fixed. So I'm just gonna go to my CSS here and here scroll all the way down. And um, is it was my iframe. I think that's what it was. And I'm gonna do uh, min width 100%. There you go. And why min width? Min width is because um, there is an issue with Safari. So min width is going to fix that. You can use width 100%, but then you're going to have some um, weird things going on in Safari. So min width is going to solve that issue. So here you go. Now we have this iframe. It looks perfect. So let's see how it looks in like a mobile device. Go ahead here. Let's change it to um, iPhone 10. 100%, I wanna see it. And there you go, let's close. Um, let's do this. All right, that's better. And look at this. So it actually looks perfect. So right now, let, let's, let's test it. Um, if you have a regular iframe, what's gonna happen is it's gonna stay like in a fixed height and it's gonna create like a second scroll bar here. But the JavaScript is detecting the change on the size of the iframe and it's changing it for us. Look at that. Let's go back to normal. Let's close this. And now let's say that we change the form HTML. Um, let's say that we add, I don't know, a lot more text. Let's copy this and paste it a couple of times. Let's save that. And now it detected the change and look at this. It detects the size of the iframe, the content changed, and now the iframe is a different size. And it's the same thing, looks good on responsive mobile devices and everything. I hope this helps and I'm sure you're gonna get a request like this at some point in your life. A client or your boss is gonna be like, hey, let's put an iframe here. Let's get this content from this page and put it there on another page. And you're gonna be uh, like very confused about it. This is gonna help you with an iframe. That's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.